Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ibelis. I made this custom old microphone for the Elvis Presley bottle I made. It's not perfect, but it did the trick. How to make an old microphone wine stopper. Let's get started. Taking a rectangular piece of foam and an X-Acto knife, cut the foam to the size desired. I cut about a third of it off. Now cut off all the hard edges as you see here, shaping it as you go. Taking some 150 grit sandpaper, sand all the edges and shape as you go while doing this as well. I took the back of a pouncer brush and made a hole in the foam. I did this to help it make it easier when I paint it, but it will also serve as a hole where the stopper will go, so make sure to center it properly and don't make it too deep. Using the pouncer brush and black acrylic paint, paint the whole thing and set that aside to fully dry. Now, using E6000 and hot glue, glue the stopper on as you see here. I use both types of glue so that I can continue to work on the piece while the E6000 dries. I put a layer of polycrylic sealer so the foam doesn't fall apart while doing the next step. Using a roller, flatten out a piece of air dry clay, large enough to cover the piece. Now place the microphone on the clay and completely cover it with the clay as you see here. Trim off any excess with the back of the X-Acto knife. Next, mold the clay over the microphone the best you can. Smoothing it out as you go, trim off any excess clay. Take some water and smooth it out as best as you can. Sorry about this clip, I didn't realize it was out of focus. What I did was take the X-Acto knife and cut into the clay carving the lines as you would see on the old microphone. This is why I gave it a coat of sealer so little pieces of the foam didn't come off while doing this part. It should look something like this when you're done. Fix it to the way you want it to stay and let the clay fully dry once you're done. I left mine to dry overnight. Once it's fully dry, sand it down with 80 grit sandpaper. This will be the final process before painting it, so make sure you get it exactly how you want it. Make sure to wear a mask or something to protect you from inhaling the dust. One hour later, two hours later. Three hours later and it's not perfect, but it's as good as it's gonna get. If I had carved it better, it would have looked a lot better, but this using of the clay is a very recent thing that I've been practicing with. I really enjoy sculpting and I wanna learn more, so expect a lot more projects using it. Using a very stiff brush, I dusted the microphone off as best as I could. Paint the microphone with gold metallic paint and let it fully dry. I was gonna make it gray, but changed my mind to gold, that's why it's gray. Now add as many layers of gold glitter glue as you want, letting it dry first between every layer. Once that's all dry, using a thin paintbrush and black acrylic paint, retouch any of the areas that got gold paint on them and let that dry. And that's it guys! You now have a custom old fashioned microphone wine stopper. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I know it didn't come out perfect, but I still think it came out great. Like I tell all of you, practice, practice, practice. If you don't know how to do something or want to make it look better, you have to practice. 
Don't give up just because it doesn't come out right the first time. I'm sure there are other ways you could make this. This is just the way I came up with. If you have any ideas, please feel free to share them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching! If you liked this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up to support my channel's growth. And if this is your first time watching, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.